Bob Barker has lived an extraordinary life. He will forever be remembered as the man who hosted The Price is Right for 35 years between 1972 and 2007. However, not many people know that The Price is Right isn't the only game show Barker hosted. Before The Price is Right, he hosted Truth or Consequences for 20 years. Similarly, people also don't know the fact that he started as a fighter pilot. Bob Barker is 97 now and currently enjoying retirement in his lavish Los Angeles home. Since his retirement in 2007, Barker has published a memoir called Priceless Memories, secured a place in the National Broadcasters Hall of Fame, and established his place as one of Hollywood's most preeminent animal rights activists. In this video, we tell you interesting facts about Bob Barker. Bob Barker began as a fighter pilot. Robert William Barker was born to Byron John Barker and Matilda Valandra in Darrington, Washington on December 12, 1923. After Bob's father passed away in an accident, his mother remarried and moved to Springfield, Missouri, where Bob attended high school and spent a major part of his early years. At the age of 21, after graduating from college, Bob joined the Navy as a commissioned officer, but joined for active duty only in 1943 after finishing college. He trained as a naval aviator for the next 18 months. During this time, he learned to fly different types of aircraft. He was deployed on duty in the summer of 1945 when World War II had almost reached an end. Thus, though Barker remained on duty during World War II, he never really saw any action. He hosted Truth or Consequences for 20 years. After World War II ended, Bob Barker, along with his wife Dorothy Jo Gideon, who he had met and fallen in love with at the age of 15, moved to Florida. Barker had become convinced he wanted to pursue a career in broadcasting, so he had made the move to Florida, where a local radio station had offered him the profile of an editor and newsreader. However, after spending a few years in Florida, he realized his career wasn't moving as swiftly as he had hoped, and therefore he decided to move to California. Within a few months, Bob Barker landed The Bob Barker Show with a radio station. The show was successful and registered a six-year run. Producer Ralph Edwards liked Bob's work on the show and especially appreciated the way Bob connected with audiences. Ralph therefore extended to Bob the role of the host on Truth or Consequences. Ralph was of the opinion that his quick wit and extensive knowledge would make Bob an instant hit with audiences. He wasn't wrong. Bob Barker hosted Truth or Consequences for almost 20 years. Between the early 50s and late 60s, other than Truth or Consequences, Bob Barker hosted several other game shows, such as End of the Rainbow, The Family Game, etc. However, none of these game shows could match the popularity of Truth or Consequences, which Barker hosted until 1975. When Bob Barker stepped down as The Price is Right host, several tabloids and magazines reported he was pissed with the new hosts Drew Carey and CBS. So does Bob Barker really disapprove of Drew Carey, or were those just rumors? More importantly, where is Bob Barker and how is he spending his lockdown days? We'll answer all these questions in a minute, so stay tuned. Meanwhile, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. He hosted The Price is Right for 35 years. In the early 70s, Mark Goodman and Bill Todman, who had tasted some success with their game show The Price is Right in the late 50s and early 60s, decided to relaunch the show, and the first thing they did was hire Bob Barker as the show's new host. CBS gave the show a half-hour slot, and The Price is Right debuted with Bob Barker on September 4, 1972. The show was a massive success, compelling the network to expand the duration to an hour in 75. The show changed many time slots before settling at 11 a.m. Eastern. Bob Barker hosted The Price is Right for 35 years until 2007, and during this time, the show won him many awards and honors. The Price is Right gave the chance to people to win a variety of things, and at the center of the show was Bob, who basked in the love and attention paid to him by frantic audience members every day. Those who saw the show during the 70s will tell you Bob Barker's hair was actually brown at the start. However, one day he appeared on the set with silver hair, and that soon became his trademark. Other than his hair, Bob Barker's also remembered by people for his generosity. The man literally gave away dollar bills to anyone who guessed the exact price of an item. Furthermore, Bob ended each episode of the show with a request for people to have their pets spayed or neutered. When he left the show in 2007, he requested the next host, Drew Carey, to continue with the message. And so far, Carey has honored the former host's request. He's a preeminent animal rights activist. Bob met his wife, Dorothy, at an Ella Fitzgerald concert. They began dating when Barker was only 15 and had a golden marriage. Unfortunately, his wife died of lung cancer in 1981 at the age of 57. His wife's passing had a major impact on Barker, who felt emotionally lost and drained. 
It was during this time that Barker turned to animal activism to help him deal with his wife's death. While Bob had always been an animal lover, it was after Dorothy's death he became one of the leading animal rights activists in Hollywood. And that's how his trademark sign-off moment on The Price is Right came to be. Other than continuously requesting his fans to get their pets spayed, Bob Barker also resigned as the official host of the Miss USA pageant after the pageant runners refused to ask contestants to stop wearing fur. Barker had hosted the pageant for 20 years before resigning in 1988. In 94, he started the DJ and J Foundation, named after his wife and mother. To this day, the foundation has helped thousands of pets and stray animals get spayed. In 2004, the former game show host donated $1 million to the Columbia Law School to help fund an essential animal study. In 2010, the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society revealed that they had sent a ship purchased with the help of funds donated by Bob to veto Japanese whaling operations in the Southern Ocean. The organization named the ship My Bob Barker. In 2010, the now-retired game show host donated $2.5 million to PETA. Bob Barker retired from The Price is Right in 2007. The show not only made him hugely popular, but also filthy rich. And Barker has funneled the money earned from the show into doing his bit for the animals. Bob is 97 now, and directly or indirectly, he is helping millions of animals live a better life. He loves Drew Carey. After he left The Price is Right in 2007, there were rumors that the former host of the show was upset with CBS as well as the new host, Drew Carey. However, in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Bob made it abundantly clear he enjoyed a wonderful relationship with CBS as well as Carey, and he would never say anything wrong about either of them. Barker also accepted that Fremantle Media, which produces the show for CBS, gives Barker a very handsome royalty each year, which makes it possible for Barker to have a comfortable life even after retiring. More recently, in an interview with Closer Weekly, Barker revealed he doesn't watch The Price is Right regularly, but tunes in once every few days to see how the show is going. And over the years, he's become a big fan of Drew Carey, who he finds charming and gracious. Barker had first visited Carey on The Price is Right to promote his memoir, Priceless Memories. At the time, Carey had devoted almost half of the show to promoting Barker's book. The two had loved each other's company, and therefore Carey had invited Barker once again on the show to celebrate his 90th birthday. He is currently enjoying his retirement. Bob Barker is close to 100 now and enjoying his retirement. Over the years, he's had a few health issues that have landed him in the hospital. However, the former game show host is doing well. A celebrity news website recently reported Barker is currently staying in his L.A. home with his family and has a full-time caretaker. He's spending the lockdown watching old military movies. However, adjusting to life after retirement wasn't easy for Bob Barker. The man worked for almost six decades before resigning, and therefore adjusting to retirement took a while. The good thing is, Barker shared in an interview that he's come to enjoy his retirement, and therefore doesn't regret quitting. More importantly, he's amassed a wealth worth $70 million, which allows him to live comfortably and carry on his work as an animal rights activist. Further, though the game show host does not attend events and doesn't socialize much anymore, he visits his wife's grave often. Bob is going to be 100 soon. The man has lived a full life and continues to enjoy the comfortable life afforded to him by his extensive work as one of the most popular game show hosts ever. However, for some reason, death hoaxers keep spreading false rumors about him. Bob may have stepped away from public life, but he's very much active and still working towards the causes close to his heart. Which was more surprising to you, that he hosted another show before The Price is Right, or that he's still around and kicking at 97 and enjoying life? Let us know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos.